What makes Jingxian unique is many of the students here, their parents, they don't have enough money to afford their education. So the students here that go to the school are called Liu Shu Er Tong, which means that they are left behind by their parents. And the parents throughout the whole year, they go out to work in other cities, in other villages, on the farms and fields, and basically they all do just manual labor the whole year long, just fighting to survive. So they, are, they don't have time to come home to Jingxian all the time. So these children, are, they have nowhere to go, so therefore they have to go to the school and they live here. And this means that the students are not very cared for, there is no really parental kind of figure in their lives. And so these students learn to be very, very independent, and they are very, very resolute, strong-minded, and they're much less obedient than normal, normal children are. To teach these students, you have to really, really connect with them because they don't have many, many bonds, and so they require strong friendship and strong leadership. Personal relationships, like deeper relationships, in order to break their shells. YBB's purpose on the surface at Wang Zhongxian is to teach these kids English, music and art, science, computer science, and history and world culture. And also teach them about English or Mandarin culture. But underneath that, we have a broader purpose, which is to encourage these kids to have a love for education, to motivate them to want to learn. Not only can we teach them in these two weeks, we can also make them want to learn during the regular school year. And this has a much more lasting impact than simply teaching them the content. And what we can also do is we can open their minds to the rest of the world and to see all the opportunities they have and to real help them realize that education is their way out of their situation. Last year a lot of it was we had a basic outlines of lesson plans and then we went there and we sort of improvised and we'd be like, oh, uh, this lesson, we don't like this lesson, let's just make up our own. But this year it's much more structured and I like that because now we're much more prepared and there's less stress on everyone. Well, as the le lesson planning leader, um, we definitely started lesson plans a lot earlier this year. Like in very literal sense, the week that everyone was accepted and had accepted their positions, we began our lesson plan. We spent the past three months working really hard in lesson planning groups to make these lessons and they're all polished now but I feel like regardless when we go to China it will take a lot of flexibility for us to make these lesson plans successful. We don't really know much about their levels of education or how much they know about the lessons so we definitely have to think quick on our feet. This year we're trying to encourage more of a differentiated lesson plan so lesson plans that would be basic, intermediate and advanced. And that way we can address all the needs of every student that is there. And so right now we are in our one week intensive training stage. With the intensive training week we've been doing two things. We've been going over our lesson plans to see if there's any holes in them or anything we have to watch out for when we're teaching. Just like little things when we're actually teaching it as opposed to, you know, things in the lesson. And then the second part is to encourage team cooperation slash cohesion. Especially since a lot of us don't, uh, don't know each other beforehand and some of us live in other states, like me. So, you know, being able to come together and do bonding activities. So we feel more cohesive when we go over to China and we're in a completely new environment.
，然后可能不知道怎么跟当地的孩子交流，然后怎么教给他们更多有用的东西。然后来了以后，我就发现最大的问题在我们班是，那些孩子跟没有任何反应。你教什么东西，他们没有反应；你教什么，他们都不想学。但是我们第一天准备的确实不好，就是课堂很乱，都不知道他们有什么反应。但是我们第二天就开始越做越好。我们第二天的时候发现分小组，分小组学习很有效果，而且上课都很活跃。然后。就还交到很多朋友，像一个呃同龄人一样的，然后他们特别充满好奇心，所以说我想尽可能的呃去融入他们和教他们一些他们这个年段年龄段应该有的知识。我觉得 Y B B 嗯这儿的老师都很友好，然后我们可以跟他做朋友，在上课的时候我们跟他们是师生关系，他们也很认真的教我们课。因为在这里有许多大学生和大姐姐陪我们玩。在这里我还认识了新朋友，然后在这里我真的感受到心与心之间的交流是没有距离的。我觉得我们可以跟大洋之外的呃人交朋友，然后可以有很多很多的见识。Because the kids here, they have really big hearts. I mean, I love, I love every minute I spend with them. You know, because you know they're interested in our culture, we're interested in their culture. We talk a lot, we play together a lot. Um, so I definitely think that that type of connection makes this place um so much better for me. I think, besides the mosquitoes, the beginning of YBB is really surprising because I'm really, really enjoying myself. Ice was broken really early, and everybody's just getting along, and it's a lot of fun so far. And I hope it stays this way. So I came to YBB very happy, and this is probably a dream, and I don't know. I don't know. But it's really happy. Just like that. Okay. Last years for YBB, we usually just focused on teaching children at one site. But this year, we found out that there would be only four classes at this school, and then a fifth class teaching teachers and also middle school. We are now in the middle school. We are now in the middle school. We are now in the middle school. 我在别的地方去要了钱，但给饭给他们吃，去他们来，就不来。这里的主人开四个班。We had to reorganize all the classroom groups, and it caused a lot of confusion for the first week and a half because people were constantly getting moved around. No one, but nobody could bond with their groups because they just kept getting switched around. When he talked to me, he said, "Just teach me as you would when you first started learning English in China." America, because that's the way I want to be taught right now. Does that seem like an unmotivated kid? You can't just. We're gonna end the meeting now and make sure to work as efficiently as possible. And I know we don't have power, but just discuss with your groups. Make sure you know clearly what you're gonna be doing tomorrow, tomorrow evening, and remember everything we talked about this meeting. In a way that did work out because we effectively dealt with this fifth class, and we we sent people out to teach the teachers, and that went very well. The teachers loved it, and then they also went to the middle school, which also worked out very well. So. During the first week, um, all the classes were trying to find their comfortable area, like um, getting to know the students and what their teaching style was. So um, there was obviously some times that things weren't going so great, or there were awkward moments, and um, just in general, I felt like 
the teachers especially needed to get closer with each other. So um, when we went to Huangshan during the weekend, it was a great bonding experience for all the volunteers um, just to relax from a stressful first week and just to get to know each other better. Well, I feel like the final performance is just a way to show that we have accomplished something with our kids. Like, we haven't just been there just to teach the kids to read out of a book and just, you know, um, help them remember English vocab. It's more like a culmination of everything that we taught them and to show that we Americans and college students and students have really bonded together over the two weeks and we've really built a relationship. Is it love?